Welcome back, DJ Vic Vapor with you. Logic Pro 10 beginner's course, and we're looking at global tracks. So we covered the uh, marker and arrangement global tracks. Let's take a look at signature and tempo. You can grab and maximize this point of view within here just by hovering over the lines up and down there. So um, actually, let's take a look at signature first. Signature is going to give us a key so if we double click here we can change what key major minor or anything we want the project in we can change the time signature right here we can stay four we can do beat grouping we can print compound signatures hide signatures um, you can change the note value 4 8 16 and so on so 432 64 And let's take a look at tempo. Tempo, if you hover over, once you have it here, if you hover over the line here, if you watch up here, currently we're at 120, we can drag it up and down. Once we release it, we can slow it down, speed it up. We can also make specific tempo um, corrections throughout the track if we wanted to have different sections with different tempos. What we'd want to do is just kind of, let's say, uh, bar 17, which is indicated up here. I'll, I'll come down and just I'll hover over that line just above the tempo line and I'll double click. And it can, let me try it again here. There we go. So over seven, or actually just before now, if you just hover over the line a little bit, double click, it's going to give you another, it's going to jump up for you and give you another option there for the change in the tempo and it'll be indicated in the play. So you can hear it, it's going to go from 129 to, um, I think it was like 139. So. That's a, that's a fairly abrupt change, so a way to smooth that out is to grab this guy here and just kind of drag it around and create a curve up or down to smooth out that transition if you want, simply by moving over that way. So that's the additional features of the global tracks, and that was just a brief overview of the arrangement, marker, signature, and tempo. Let's move on to the next lesson. Let's start taking a look at regions.